Hello, Jim Hodges here, Scout here. Scout is a nine month old lab that came in for our residency training program. Oh, and by the way, we have a couple of cats around. This is Salem right here and Lovey right there. Wanted to take a few minutes to go through the video training basics here to show you the hand signals, how we bite, how we love and praise and give treats. Making sure that you understand the proper way to give the commands and what we have to do if she does or if she doesn't do it. Scout's a real good girl. She's happy-go-lucky when it's her time. She's still not keen on working so much, but I just tell people we want to be animated, excited, work her through it. As she understands that she has to obey, she's gonna become a great dog and enjoy it, especially if we use the proper timing, use some well-placed treats from time to time, and let her know with a lot more praise than bites when we're pleased with her. Of course, at the same token, if she does something wrong, we have to let her know. It's not about intimidation, domination, breaking her spirit. It's typically a tap of a leash. Quite honestly, Scout here doesn't need much of a tap. A level one or a level two is about all that would be. It's uh, certainly a lot less physical contact than if she was playing with someone. So here we go. Watch what happens. Let's see how it goes. Sweetheart, you ready? Let's go. First thing we do is we do our walking command. Come on, baby, let's go. And a girl. We want her walking with us, not in front of us. She needs to pay attention. If we turn, she needs to turn with us. We want to let her know when we're walking that she's being good. And a girl. Okay? If she loose leash, hand close by our side. We don't want to give her tons of leash right now. We want to keep her so we can control her. Because one of the things Scout might do is if she sees someone she knows or wants to be with, she may try to surge to go out. If she surges to go out to meet them, we tap the leash in the direction we want her to go. In this case, it would be back, it'd be no, let's go. And then we come back after every tap and still praise. Okay, we want to let her know that this is what we want. We didn't want the thing to happen just a second or two beforehand. Let's go. So real quick, short leash, right here with us. Ah, the girl, sit. Hand signal for sit. When we tell her to sit, she must sit. If she doesn't sit, we're gonna tap the leash real light, just like that, and tell her, no, sit. Good girl. She has to hold that sit until we release it. The same token is I don't like to put a dog, especially a lab or a big dog, in a sit for more than 15 seconds, 30 seconds, or a minute at a time. I just don't wanna put that pressure on their rear end. Let's go. And a girl. Why? Because you hear the dysplasia, you hear of uh, the nerve endings and things along those lines. Why tempt fate when we don't need to? Now occasionally you'll have a dog that likes to sit, you'll see that. If your dog is like that, sit can be a little bit longer if you want. Sit. Good girl. Add a girl. So pet, good words, sometimes treats. Right, let's go. Sit. Down, add a girl. So down is one of those commands when we tell her to down, she must do it. Unlike sit, she has to stay in the down for as long as we ask her to. I tell my clients if we're gonna keep her in the down more than a couple of minutes, stay. We tell her to stay. Then she could roll over on the side, chew a bone, not have to pay attention. But when we just do stay and expect her to hold it for 30 seconds or a minute or so, she should be paying attention and be ready to go to the next command. Pretend like this is her head. If she did not down just then, I would have gotten the leash, tap. Just like with the sit or with the let's go, it's always a tap, we're not pulling. No, down, good girl. Why do I say tap? When we pull the dog into a command we want, we're doing the work for her. She doesn't have to think. When we tap, we're making her think, oh, what did he really mean by that? And before long, it gets better and better. Just remember, if she does it right, we praise her really good. We're animated, we're excited. If she does it incorrectly, we're not gonna get mad, but we're gonna tell her no, down in this case, good girl, and she has to hold it. Okay, she has to hold this down, and when we ask her to do the down, she has to stay there for as long as we ask her to do it. And, uh, Everything's lovely. Break. Let's go. Good girl. So we did sit. 
So we just did down, down from the side when I held my hand like this. From the front, down. Good girl. Atta girl. So down from the front is like this. Same thing would have happened if she didn't do it. Down from the side is like this, okay? Break. Good girl. Hand signal, place. Good girl. Atta girl. Uh, places, lay down, sit down, stand up, read a book on her bed, okay? Same token with the down. She can't be smelling and grabbing things off the bed and bring it on. That's her bed. Also, it's real important to know that her bed is her sanctuary. We don't want people and, to come in and tell her to sit her down and pull on her and make her mess up. You know, we want our dogs to succeed. Uh, at the same rate, she can do this for a couple of hours easy. Scout is one of these dogs we have to supervise, okay? Because she's still a puppy, still prone to get in trouble at home. And what I like to tell you guys is we don't leave her unsupervised. So she's either in a penned area, a crate, or a place. Place is a wonderful command to keep her once she understands she has to obey. It. If she got off of the place or didn't go to the place, it would be the same tap as the let's go. No, 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 place. Good girl. So I'm over here, I've gone out of the room, she's up and out, I pick up the leash, no, 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 place. Good girl. She's watching my no, no, no's. She knows what no means. That's the whole reason we say no and bite at the same time, is to let her understand that our no does carry a bite now. It's just like a growl or a bark from mom or another dog in the pack. Good girl. Now, as I said, treats are really important. And I don't mind using treats. I use treats to teach commands, to lure her to understand what we want, especially when we have a treat-motivated dog. I do not use treats all the time. Once a dog learns, I save my treats for really great commands or opportune moments, or just when I feel like I want to give her a treat. What do I mean by that? If I want to give her a treat, I'll load up a treat in my hand and I'll ask her to do a command. If she did it for me and I wanted to give her a treat, good girl, pet, love, treat. She's earning it. Nothing is for free, okay? We want her to understand that treat is part of a reward system, okay? It's because we love her, but it's because she's obeying us and following us. If we just give her treats for everything, treats don't have a lot of value in training and learning new things. Good girl. So, timing is important. When she does what we ask, we good girl, praise, treat, if we're doing that, okay? After she's learned the treats aren't being broadcast as a bribe or a lure, it's a result of an action done well. I call it manna from heaven. She doesn't know it's coming. She's obeying because we tell her to. It's just an added bonus. But it can be used as a prolonged reward as well. She's staying on this bed being good. I could come in. And a girl, I give her my treat, I pet her, and I love her. All right, let's go. Come on. No picking up off the ground. Come on. Good girl. It's really hot out here these days, so we're trying to keep it to a minimum. I'm trying not to make her work too hard, but I'm still trying to show you what we need to do with the video, okay? So she's in that sit command. The other command I would say in the beginning that I would use a treat more than normal would be the come command both on leash and off leash. Off leash, I tell my clients that we never give the come command unless our dog is already in the act of coming. When a dog is running to you and they're running to be with you, they have that warm, fuzzy feeling. When we give that command, when they're feeling happy, they get to us, we praise and love, they're starting to understand that come is a wonderful thing. And it's not just about a bite or being corrected for getting into trouble when we tell them to come. Come is always positive, okay? But on leash is the same thing. I've got a treat right now. I could show it to her. I could put it away or what have you. But when I do on leash, I want her to come to me and sit. Come. Good girl. Now, you see, I just committed a, an error. Break. If you didn't know what that was, and my trainer behind the camera does, break. I rewarded her before she sat down. So technically, I would be teaching her wrong and giving her a conflicting clues because what she should have done was when she came and sit, the reward came. Let's go. So we always mess up, sit. Nobody's perfect.
at a girl. Good girl. Break. So the only difference is off leash, we don't know if she's going to come. That's why I'm going to try to emulate it right now. Hey, baby, what you doing? Hey, right here. Come. And a girl, good girl, break. So pretend like I didn't have a leash on just then. All right, not going back to bed right now. Pretend like I didn't have a leash on, okay? Uh, so that's like in the backyard. If we call her and if she doesn't run to us, we don't ever say the word come. We only say the come, come when she commits. And we don't do anything that can be perceived as a negative when she gets to us. Okay, let's go. Last thing is loading up in the car. Next to last thing is loading up into the car. Hop. I use hopper load up and a girl break to get in the car. It can also be used on furniture. In this case, we do not want Scout to get on the furniture at home, at least right now, because she's had carte blanche to get on the furniture and gets hair everywhere. So a dog that typically gets on the furniture, it would be a no, a little tap, no. Once we want to start teaching a dog to get on the furniture, it would be load up, up. It could even be a place command on that furniture, okay? Last thing, sit. Good girl, it's the heel command. The heel command is like uh, a much tighter let's go. We want our dog right here in imaginary box beside us. When we're walking, she's got to react to us. So we have to be good stewards as a good trainer to show her what we want and make sure we stop in a position that she can succeed. Keep in mind, she can't read our mind. She has to act based on what we're doing. Hand signals like this, come, a heel. We walk. We're straight, we stop, she sits. Good girl, heel. So now we're turning corners. She See, she has to react to get back into the box. Good girl, break. When I made that exaggerated motion to go out a while ago, she had no idea that was coming. We have to give her a chance to react. And when she reacted and I stepped out like this, there is no way she could respond to the heel command. I had to give her a chance to get back into place. Ah, a good girl. Break. I'm so proud of you. That's basically it. Scout can do anything we ask her to do. We have to be consistent. We have to be praiseful. Whenever we're working with a dog, our goal should be to praise 20 times more during the day than we provide a bite or a consequence. The bite or consequence is not heavy-handed. It's only to the level that's necessary. Normally, it's just a little tap like this, okay? Dogs are physical animals. They need that touch. In fact, I go so far as to say that touch is the primary form of communication for dogs. Ever seen two dogs get together? They're not sitting there barking and yapping back and forth. They're usually being physical in some way of play. You know, if you need me, you pick up the phone and call me, 336-945-3232. Jim Hodges, jimhodgesdogtraining.com, Facebook, Jim Hodges Dog Training. If I ever can do a follow-up, there's never a charge on one of my residency follow-ups for things that we have already done. There are going to be questions. You're going to have questions. Feel free to pick up the phone and call me. No dog is perfect, no person is perfect. There's only been one person that has been perfect that's walked on this earth in my mind. So we realize we make mistakes, but that doesn't mean we settle for mistake, mistakes. We continue to work and work to do the best we can. Thank you so much. Take care. Good girl. Right.